birds all around me. They're calling all around me. Robin's great tits, blue tits, and they're so tame. I'm down at one of my favourite little places, which is a feeding station for small birds. All around me, the birds are incredibly tame, and they're already coming into the branches in the trees around me. So what's great about the snow, even though the light levels are quite low, all the snow just acts as a giant reflector. So it just boosts a lot of light back. And also it throws light on the underside of the bird so you can get a really nice evenly lit image. And the idea basically is that the branches around me are so coated in snow. So I'm gonna try and get the birds to land in there and hopefully that's gonna create some really nice images. Put some food just underneath the bush and hopefully the birds will perch in the top. Of course I want to use a shutter speed that's reasonably high, but I don't want to put the ISO too high. So at the moment I've got ISO 2500, which is quite reasonable on this camera. That's giving me a shutter speed of about 1 500th of a second. I've got an aperture of f6.3. Also as well, I've actually put an extension tube on. So the reason for the extension tube is sometimes the birds are very close and it is possible to get very tight portraits, but the minimum focusing distance of the 500mm uh, it's around four meters. Putting the extension tube on, 25 mil extension tube, that means that if it's very close, less than four meters, it's still gonna allow me to focus. So in terms of exposing the shot, uh, in conditions like this, rather than just use my eye, what I'll actually do is use a histogram a lot more. So basically with lots of snow around, that's your white areas on the histogram, I'm going to aim for the whites to be really close to the end of the histogram on the right hand side. So I'll aim for them to be close to the end, or in some cases even clipped off the end of the histogram on the right. I don't worry too much if it is blown out, because the bird's the main subject. So if you look at this image for example of a robin here, you can see this little area here on the right hand side, that's actually the snow on the twig. It's actually flashing as well because I've got highlight alert enabled. So that part of the exposure is actually blown out. But I'm not too worried about that because I'd rather have an image that's slightly overexposed and then I can do a little bit more with it in post-processing. The light's actually improved now so it's got a bit brighter which is helping me out. So I'm now on ISO 1600. 1 640th of a second f7.1 so slightly better settings all around lower ISO faster shutter speed and slightly more depth of field the lights definitely improved just got that little bit brighter and again with the snow reflecting it's just boosting the light levels so what I'm doing now I've decided to try and get some low level shots uh, some of the birds, particularly like the blackbirds, they prefer to be on the ground really. So I've got the tripod completely flat, uh, really low to the ground. I'm going to put some bird seed out there and see if I can get some blackbirds. <laughs> I think that's me done for today. Been a fantastic morning, absolutely loved it. There's a few things I enjoy more than photographing birds, 
and in these conditions, just even better. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please click on subscribe. You don't have to smash the button, just click on the button gently and it'll work just fine. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another video.